Greetings. Um, you are watching World TV, and I'm a J Paper. You can call me in Shaba together with Honorable Emmanuel L. Klim and Honorable Adumbila Michael. Today, the question is what is YLP and what do you know about Youth Leadership Parliament in Ghana? And we are here to brief you about Youth Leadership Parliament in Ghana. It is a model parliament which mimics the model parliament of Ghana and it is under an auspices of UK NGO Tears of Africa. Youth Parliament started in the year 2015 by Ghanaian UK based Kobe Fabian. The vision of Youth Parliament is to train Ghanaian youth to desist from partisan politics. Youth Parliament has 275 youth MPs representing all the 275 constituencies in Ghana here. Youth Leadership Parliament has a structure and the structure begins from the national level and the national level is headed by the national speaker and then the national speaker is assisted by the national clique and also coming down we have the regional level and the regional level also consists of 10 regional parliaments and currently um, three regional parliaments has been established um, that of Ashanti region um, that of Greater Accra and Tamale regional parliament which represents all the three regions in Tamale and also coming down we have clubs clubs have been established in secondary schools and the purpose of the club is to teach students um, volunteerism good governance and also patriotism One reasons why one would, as it were, have to join you parliament as long as you fall within the age range, 18 to 40 years. Um, you are given the opportunity to build your capacity and capacity building is all about knowledge that you need as an individual. Uh, you are taken through leadership training that uh, would expose you to the skills that uh, you need as a leader for the future. And the reason for this training is to put you in a better position so that if one day you are being given a leadership mantle, you wouldn't found one thing. And apart from the fact that you are an individual that will be uh, equipped with the leadership skills, your consequences also stand to benefit a lot. Uh, projects that you be asked to roll out so that it will benefit the community. Uh, in July, uh, later, there will be the first launch of Youth uh, Leadership Academy that will do all the work that one needs to receive as far as capacity building is concerned where we're looking at uh, the issues of patriotism uh, good governance uh, uh, how to uh, communicate effectively among others so we stand a lot to gain from this academy and for that reason uh, any person that falls within the range of 18 to 40 years should as it were make himself available for this program so that in the near future when we take over we wouldn't be so much burdened as to how to go about the business so there are more to it where you even be given the needed network in the world because network is very important for one survivor you cannot do it alone you must have the links as to where to go and where not to go and all the links that one needs to be given will be given by youth leadership parliament <music> Thank you. 
once you are appointed as a youth MP, uh, it becomes a mandate for you to embark on uh, a PFCC, which is the Policy for Community Change. And when you embark on the Policy for Community Change, it entails identifying the pressing problem in that constituency and drafting solutions that can help solve that particular problem. Also, um, it is important that you embark on it because at, when you become or when you're appointed as a youth MP, uh, you have to solve at least one problem in your constituency. Currently, we have the constituency documentary uh, shoot ongoing. And during this, the problems of the constituencies are being shot. And later, we all meet together and discuss how we can solve these problems. Last year, Youth Leadership Parliament launched Junior Premier League Academy in Asin Kushia. And also, after solving the problems as every um, youth MP is supposed to identify. We also plan on moving on to the health sector, that is identifying some problems in the health sector and also trying our possible best to solve them. When you request for MP nomination forms, these are the requirements. You bring your curriculum vita, which is CV. And also, you need to have no criminal records. You need to have sound mind. And you need to have passionate for policy for community change. And also, the commitment to youth leadership parliament. When you want to pick up a form to join Youth Leadership Parliament, go to Facebook, search for Youth Leadership Parliament, like our page, inbox us, and you will get the forms out there. Or save this number, 0541-520287. I repeat, 0541-520287. Just inbox us on WhatsApp and you get the form out there. You can also send us an email through youth.walp at gmail.com.